Hey, uh, Nigel Moore here. Now let's talk about calendar reminders and all appointment reminders inside Grobly. Now, some tools out in the marketplace uh, have inbuilt systems to go and send reminders to, to the people who have booked a call in a calendar, namely tools like Calendly or Schedule Once or Acuity Scheduling. They're, they're third-party calendar scheduling tools. And what happens is when someone books something in on them, they then have this automated email follow-up thing that sends email reminders that the calendar entry is coming up, uh, as well as the calendar obviously being put into their Outlook calendar. Then there's tools like Microsoft Bookings that, funnily enough, doesn't have that functionality, which is a little bit annoying. I actually prefer um, having the appointment reminders via email as well as uh, a calendar reminder because so many people I find in the world uh, do not follow their calendars very well and they miss appointments all the time. And by having uh, two or three nicely timed calendar email reminders or SMS reminders certainly helps have show up rates, especially when you're doing marketing and sales. That's typically the time where you'll have lots more show up um, or no shows when it comes to calendar things. And um, and like tools like we used to use Calendly and the, the frustration I had with Calendly was that we couldn't edit um, anything in those reminder emails. There was, there was a tiny little bit of text kind of half, halfway down there, I think from memory, where we could edit stuff in the, the Calendly reminders, but we didn't have much much um, ability to go and edit what was in those things. What I love about high level or Grobly is that you've got complete ability to edit whatever the heck you want in terms of times, emails, subjects, all that sort of stuff, modalities of sending um, reminders in there completely. But by having all that choice, it makes it in the first instance, maybe a slight little bit more complex, but um, reality is it's not really. And so this video is just to show you how to do it. So if you are using calendars in uh, in Grobly, let me move my ugly mug out of the way. But if you're using uh, calendars in here, if you go into settings, you'll go into calendars down here and you will be setting up your calendars in here for all the different types of events that you have uh, in your business. Now, they, I, you wouldn't be setting up calendars for individual people, um, normally like Nigel's calendar, that's a generic thing. You normally set up calendars in a marketing system like this based on the event type. So it might be Nigel's 25-minute call and Nigel's 45-minute call or, and or that's if it's an individual one, or you might have book in a discovery call and that could be a round robin calendar that then um, has multiple people on your team assigned to it and the, the person can go and pick availability based on three or four or five sales reps on your team or whatever. And so you would go into the calendar thing in here and you would go and create uh, whatever calendars that you've got in here. And then um, in here, like when you're creating a particular calendar in here, you've got an option in here um, to go and turn on who receives the acknowledgement email um, that comes out of Grobly. And that acknowledgement email is just uh, a, a very, very, very basic email that you can't really control inside um, here because high level have pre-written that email and we've got no control over what it includes. So we normally just leave it turned off or you might use it for internal um, assigned users or specific emails on your team. But I don't normally have that turned on for the contact so that the end user doesn't receive the acknowledgement email. We want to craft those acknowledgement emails with to make them look good, sound good, and be in our own voice and have complete control over them. And so the way we do that is via workflows. So if you go into automation over here and you go into workflows, uh, you'll see in, um, depending on when you watch this video, there's probably going to be a lot more stuff in here. But um, you'll see in this particular campaign here, the campaign number 11, the M365 Corvette postcard, we've created a, a calendar reminder or automation reminder workflow, um, oh, sorry, reminder workflow for you in here. And you can see if you go into it, uh, as you can see there, it's called clone before use. Make sure you clone that before you use it because if you don't and we push out an update to this workflow, we'll overwrite anything that's in your workflow if you've edited it. But essentially this one here, it gets triggered when somebody books an appointment on a calendar that's called 25 minute M365 Corvette chat. That's one of the calendars that you saw in that previous screenshot. And so so you then can set up a workflow for each individual calendar type so that you can have um, have different wording going out based on what type of calendar that they've got or different times that, that things get chased up. For a uh, a discovery call, perhaps you might want three reminders, one 24 hours, one four hours, and one one hour that say something that's pre-framing some of the conversation, like pre-framing some of the what's going to happen on that particular conversation. If it's a TBR call, like a quarterly business review call or a TBR, we call them TBR call, um, you might have a different set of emails that go out at different times that say different things. But um, but this is how you do it. You trigger it up here. The, the workflow needs to have a trigger based on what calendar this person particularly booked this or booked this thing on. And that's very easy to, to add a workflow trigger up there. Then down here is where you do things. In this particular one here, we are um, 
because this is a marketing calendar, we're, we're adding a, a lead source, like where did this lead come from? They came from the Corvette postcard. Uh, we're adding a note to there saying this contact booked a 25 minute call. That adds that note to their, their contact field. We're creating an opportunity because this is now an opportunity in our system. Um, and so that shows up in the opportunity section inside Grobly. Um, then what we're doing is sending an SMS uh, and an email and a Grobly app notification to ourselves saying, hey, someone's booked a calendar entry in with us, like a sales calendar entry in with us, like a discovery call, um, just letting you know. So these three things here are what's called internal notifications. So they're letting your, you or your team know that you've just received one. And, um, and that's, that's how you do them. But then here's the, the parts that go, the, when it starts here with this blue one, this is the parts that go to the end user. So immediately upon them filling out a calendar entry, they're going to get an SMS if you turn on Twilio and you set up your SMS integration, showing the details of the appointment uh, in here, which is all done via custom values. And you can see we've, we've written this all for you. Um, or, uh, and, and or, uh, you also have an email that goes out to them. And you can see, let's get me out of the way again. This one here says, hi, contact name, which is a custom value. Your appointment has been confirmed with the following details. Gives them all the details, the time zone, location, etc., And then it adds the, the details here for them to be able to add it to their, their um, Apple calendar or their iCal or whatever it is, or Google calendar, whatever they're using, or Outlook. Um, and adds those special links so they can download the ICS file from there. Um, now, that's all gets sent. Uh, immediately as they go and book this particular calendar. And you can upload, the, update these emails to whatever the heck you want. You can add your own copy in them and, and tweak and fine tune and make them specific for whatever calendar you're working on, etc. cetera. Uh, but then this is the important part. Then we've got this next one here. That's, it's a wait step. And this wait step says wait until 24 hours before the appointment time. So this one's now set to wait until one day before. And, um, and when that so, so what will happen is a contact will come in there and they'll sit in this step here right up until exactly one day before the campaign or the, the appointment time. And then it will send them their second, like a, a reminder or the first reminder. That, that first one here was the appointment confirmation. This one is their 24 hour reminder. And again, it's just nicely worded emails just saying, hey, just letting you know we've got a blah, blah, blah. You would have seen emails like this from Calendly and Zoom and, and whatnot. They all do it. Um, and this is the 24 hour email. Again, it's got options in here to download their, their calendar. You could add those same, this stuff here back up in this SMS one as well if you wanted people to add them via SMS. We typically don't, uh, but it's up to you. Um, and then it sends those two and then it moves the person down to this one hour beforehand and it gives them the one hour thing, waits till one hour before the appointment time, sends them again, another SMS, another friendly SMS and another friendly uh, email saying, hey, we're, we're chatting in 60 minutes. Here's the, here's the location. Uh, this one here, it doesn't actually include the calendar entries because we're, we're kind of now just want to push them. Like it's, it's coming up very soon. So now we just want to push them to where it is. This will normally be like a Zoom call or a, a, a Zoom room or something like that. Um, and there's Zoom integration that allows you to make that happen inside here. And then again, no, no, no prizes for guessing what happens here. We, they then go down to the next wait there and they, they'll wait 50 minutes essentially there. Um, so 10 minutes before the event and they'll get their final SMS and um, an email reminder. And again, they're just worded nicely saying, hey, here's a location, blah, blah, blah. We're chatting in 10 minutes. Uh, and so now you can tweak that to your heart's content for whatever type of calendar you want, for whatever type of personality you have, what it, for whatever type of um, marketplace you serve, for whatever type of marketing campaign you're running and whatever it is. But And the, the easy way to go and do that is literally just to go into the, that workflow list in here Right, uh, click on these three buttons here and just click on duplicate. Just duplicate that workflow, rename it to whatever calendar you want it to line up against and then edit it for that particular one and tweak that calendar's emails to your heart's content. Um, and obviously move it out of this particular folder here. We've just got it in that folder for that one campaign. But use that one. We will, uh, over time, as we're filling Grobly up with more and more campaigns, we'll have lots of different types of calendar reminder things. And then you can just look through them and pick what one you like. Like there is no, there is no perfect answer. There's just getting it done the best way that you, you want it to get done. There. So hopefully that helps explain how uh, you can set up calendar reminders inside Grobly very, very, very easily and quickly and more, more importantly, very, very comprehensively. There's lots of features in there for you to do whatever the heck you want. Inside this workflow here, you can add whatever other steps you want. There is, there is a bajillion different types of steps you can, you can add over here. As you see, when you click the plus button over here, these are all the different types of steps that you can add. Uh, you can add tasks for your team. You can update appointment statuses. You can move them along opportunities. You can add tags, remove tags. You can do all, so you can add them to other workflows. You can do all sorts of stuff over here. Um, if then else statements based on if they're a certain type of prospect that's tagged this way, or whatever, that's the, the, the ideas or the, the stuff you can do there is endless. Uh, so anyway, I will leave that with you. Hope that helps. Bye for now.